Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield. It's great to be with you today. God bless you today. I appreciate you listening to the broadcast today. You can find me simply in a lot of places by just punching in RaymondMayfield.com. I appreciate all, all of my appreciate all of my people that are listening to me on YouTube and LinkedIn and other outlets, Twitter and Facebook. Thank you so much for listening to the broadcast, and I appreciate it. I want to talk to you about the first psalm today. And the Psalms number one is a tribute to Moses. Uh, many people think that uh, David wrote all the Psalms. He wrote about half of them. He had many other people in his uh, in leading worship services, and he was a great singer and a composer of poetry. Second Samuel 22 starts to talk about all the songs of how he composed before the Lord when the Lord gave him a great victory. You might want to take a look at that verse in that chapter and that talks about the songs of praises that he composed to the Lord. And he was happy in the Lord because the Lord delivered him through a great battle. But this, this first chapter that I want to talk to you about has been attributed to Moses. And it starts off like this. He says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, or takes their advice, or listens to what they have to say that is not godly and not... And, and not interested enough to bring the blessings of God, nor stand in the counsel of the ungodly. That is something that you need to think about a lot, about standing in the way of sinners or getting in their way or their approach and the way they do things, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Notice here that it walks and it stands and it sits in the seat of the scornful or mockers, and we need it. it uh, this psalm is a deep contrast against the righteous and the ungodly. It tells the characteristics of what it's like to be living a godly life and live a Christian life. And there is a blessing from God for you today if you'll walk in the precepts of God and listen to God's word. But his verse two says, "But his delight is in the law of the Lord." Now, the law of the Lord was in the Pentateuch in the first five chapters of the Old Testament that Moses wrote about the law of the Lord, but we know that is the Word of God. And today, the Word of God is what we need to listen to. We need to meditate in the Word of God and to meditate in the words of God, what He teaches, and not only in the Old Testament or New Testament, New Testament, but be adherent to everything He says and talks to us about. His delight is in the law of the Lord, and He meditates on it day and night. And He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That speaks of a palm tree, that's out in the middle of an oasis and uh, and being well watered and is growing. And thank God for those that are successful and that brings forth his fruit in due season and his leaves shall not wither and everything that does that he does will prosper. That doesn't necessarily mean he's going to be a millionaire or he's going to have lots of money, but it means all the things that he tries to do for the Lord will be successful. You may not have much as far as material things, but you're prosperous and blessed if you live in America, we're in living one of the greatest nations in the world, and I thank God for his blessings today. And then it goes on as a contrast to describe the ungodly are not so, but like the chaff which the wind driveth away and blows away. Therefore the ungodly shall be blown away and not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. And the last verse says, For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. I want to tell you to walk in the ways of God today. Don't sit in the council of mockers. Don't sit in the seat of the scornful. Oh, I'll tell you what, God wants to use you today in a great and a marvelous way if you'll obey Him and obey His Word and listen to every precept that He tells you about. You know, there's a lot of ungodly things going on in the world today. It's real easy to compromise your your understanding of God's Word today. It's real easy to give in to the things of the enemy, but we need to fight back and say God is our source and God is our strength. And maybe we need to write us a song like David did when God gave him a great victory again. 2 Samuel 22, please read that chapter. It'll bless you and help you and understand what a great singer that David was. And, and I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. 
It's great to be able to visit with you today. I hope this session today has been a blessing to you. Psalms chapter 1. I'll be talking to you again real soon. God bless you, and I will talk to you again shortly.